Here we have imminently needed change, climactic battle and enduring strife, world-weary citizens of an age, fed up with such a struggle for life, precariously balanced on the edge of a knife, knowing not from whence come new days, old orders out of touch where civil strife is rife, holding back the future of different days, the people will be kept no more in a dark haze. The time is always now when to act, yet with a sense of urgency we hope to bring about the shift, make it fact, taking no notice of wretched lies spoke, to keep us dependent on a cruel joke, preventing potential from being realized. Another chapter long should have been wrote no economic solution can be prized at the cost of true humanity, ignored and despised. See now what days of light are brought forth when we think the limits of the past left to the night at the moment we here are on the brink of finding our first clear-minded sight beyond the trappings of wrong and right. A new age can lift us further still. Self-knowing will take us to that height, consciously ascending by force of will, possibilities with which our hearts we fill. Out from the lake come ye hence, to partake of servile days no more. Titicaca, thy dwelling place immense. Back to the land of men, come to the fore, where decadent rulers little know what's in store. For them and theirs in these times, the bearded civilizer of ancient folklore stands among us, his hour chimes, setting to right centuries of accepted crimes. Viraculture, not a god as once told, yet a hero of the populace was he, a figure in a tight garment of white and gold, who come forth to remind us that we could be more than mere beasts creatively free, seeing as we are not in the end of days, but before a new direction we agree that if you set a new path it pays to follow that which thy heart inside says. Residing in the long abandoned remains of Tiwanaku's forfeited greatness, a land casting a shadow on former pains, the loss of history left memoryless, prompting the inner search upon us to press, finding solace in an ancient message. Far from materiality, we now digress, delving deeper into an unspoken language, a fractured eon lost to an archaic past age. Emerging from the lake with the sun's rays, Upon a savage earth bearing down, Any such one seemeth to pave new ways, Towards a higher state for the city or town, And new ways will gradually come round, Accepting the wisdom of a new word, Despite the old order's spiteful frown, The gentle teacher's thoughts are heard, Knowledge given wings akin to a bird, the bloody rituals of carnivorous meals all grow to despise that which once they ate. The folly of a primitive group that feels the need to deny their natural state, keeping them fixed on base things not great. Enlightened beings move far beyond the trappings of local ignorance and hate. The old asked only to react and respond, rather than finding that for which all are truly fond. 
venturing forth through Cuzco's valley, Riddacocha found the fertile ground, where crude building blocks lay, and so could be reset, turned right around, where now Sacsayhuman's temple is found, a testimony to that earliest time, before the Inca's panpipe was ever to sound, when spirited man still stood in his prime, from whence came this sorry state of decline? As the Milky Way's void aligns itself with thy father the sun on high. Saturn and Jupiter also bring us health, their Andean counterparts also lie, at the heart of new ideals we'll try to bring out the best in our nature, as the cosmic Pachacuti lights up the sky on the final solstice of rupture, the overturning of space-time's sacred architecture.